We're here with Buddy Harrison. You saw Dusty's last fight against Tim Witherspoon Jr. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, I thought it was good. I don't know if he told you, but at one time we couldn't figure out what round it was, and we're asking everybody. And um, we finally, one well, of the commissioners finally found out. He says it's seventh. We thought it was the fifth. Um, I know his um, conditioning was great. He, even in the last round, he looked like he did in the first. What have you had him improving on since then? Conditioning, probably. Um, and I don't know. We do things a little different. You know, a lot of guys get up and run in the morning. He, which is harder, he runs and does his road work before he spars, before he shadow box, before he does all his exercise. So that's why we're in the gym so long. We're in the gym three and a half, four hours a day because he puts it all together. What's the relationship like being both father and trainer? Well, we, had, we, we argue all the time. But um, at the end of the day, you know, he knows that... that if we're arguing, it's because I care. Um, so we always patch it up and things are good. The development process for Prospect is gradual. There's a lot of fine-tuning along the way. What do you want to see Dusty continue to improve on over the next year, couple years? He's 19 years old. So I always worry about that man strength. And, and the willpower. You know, a 40-year-old man is stronger than a 20-year-old man. He might not have the endurance of a 20-year-old, but he's generally stronger. And his mind is a lot stronger. And, you know, and a lot of those guys he's fighting, which he's beat them all, but I'm sure they go in there thinking, I'm not going to let no 19-year-old kid beat me. They're giving it everything they have. Um, I'm just like to see what he looks like at 22, 23 years old. And what do you think he looks like in a few years? So far, everything's fine. He's actually stronger than all the guys he spars and everything. But um, I, I guess we'll just wait and see. I, I, um, I think he'll be just fine. What do you have him doing outside of boxing? Just to focus on himself, just to focus on growing as a young man? Um, he loves taking pictures. Uh, he loves going to... Then again, it all comes back to boxing with me. Uh, he loves taking pictures. He goes to schools. So he talks. He goes to... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we, we visit a lot of places, and he goes, yeah. Um, every vacation ends up turning to boxing. Um, I just got him doing boxing, man. I ain't got him doing nothing else. Oh, he takes school. He goes to school. He goes to school on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. So, so he, he's doing all right. All right. What else do you want people to know? Um, we're we're going to get there. It's going to take its time. And, I, you know, don't rush us. We'll be just fine, man. Um, we're going to come back to D.C. in June, and, and hopefully we'll be in twice a year in D.C. Final question. What happened with you and Tim Witherspoon Sr. after the, the last fight? Dusty, as in every fight, at the end goes over to shake the, the opponent's hand and tell them good fight. And when he went over there, um, the father was a little angry, and he was cur he started cursing. And when you, you, that's my son, and, and I seen him cursing, and I said some things I probably shouldn't have, and that's why the TV, uh, the sound system went off. That's why they went back to a commercial, um, because of, then the police came, they kicked me out of the ring and everything. I probably took it a little bit overboard, but there's certain things you, you just don't say to someone's child. You know? What did he say? He was cursing. Yeah. He, just, uh, he even said F you at the, you know, at the kid, you know. I mean, you are also a father to a boxer. Do you blame him at all for his reaction? Is it sure. something that you've had to separate? I blame your... him completely. I would never, no matter what, I'm, I'm not going to curse the other, the person's, this kid. You know, he's got a child. He, he loves the kid just like I love mine. Uh, yeah, he can't act that way. I mean, that's, that's the interesting thing is that, you know, most trainers become father figures to their fighter, but you are actually the father. So you have to really separate your emotion when you're out there working. You know, I separated them a long time ago with the exception, you know, of course I love my child. I, um, me and Dusty went over some things and just, just to let you know, I, I will never, ever stop the fight. And people say, man, it's your child, you know. You, they think your father's going to stop the fight early. Never, no matter what. But At all cost, I will never stop a fight. I've seen critiques the other way, like uh, with Tito Trinidad's father, like with Jack Mosley. Sometimes the fathers uh, let the fight go on too long. But you're you're saying that that's something that you uh, have no concern about. We chose this sport, and, and uh, oh sure, I have concern about. It. I don't want my son to get hurt, but um, it 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 won't happen. So you you would never stop the fight. I'll never stop. It. And, and why is that? It takes one punch. You know, we talked about it before. Um, um, I've seen fights before. I think I 
can't be that good. It takes one shot, man. You know, and um, who's to say that, that he, he won't land that shot? I, I never know if I stopped it. I mean, well, you, you have a ref in there for a reason, and you have doctors, and I'm, I'm just not going to stop the fight. Okay, thank you very much.